Hello everyone and welcome back to another Specimen Saturday and today I have good news, the Grow Journey seeds have arrived again! So it is June's Grow Journey seeds and this is actually going to be the very last Grow Journey seed that we do as Specimen Saturdays. They're kind of a fun, exciting filler for me when I don't have my hands on another live creature for Specimen Saturdays. But um, we're going to be moving them after this is coming up pretty close. I think this is the weekend that we move. Uh, next weekend is like the weekend during when we're moving. So pretty much we're going to be moved into our new home. And as soon as we get moved into our new home, I plan on planting a whole bunch of the seeds that we have gathered uh, over the last few months of being part of the Grow Journey monthly seed thing, which I don't, I, I paid for it myself. So it's like not a sponsorship notice. Don't worry about that guys. Uh, I'm really excited to support them because it's organic, fair trade, uh, which is kind of in the U.S. They're all based out of the U.S. more or less, so it's not such a, a big problem with the fair trade label needing to be slapped on. But they are uh, heirloom, organic really nice seeds that I absolutely love and they're so random and you guys know how much I love random things. So this will be our last Specimen Saturday with the seeds, but that's not going to be the last time you see any Grow Journey packages and it's not going to be the last time that you see my garden. I want to let you guys know that I plan on completely revitalizing the vlog channel Series Greenhouse when I move so that there's, you're going to see all my little plants and hopefully I'm going to buy a little webcam to stick in with the birds so I can get more of their photos and what they're up to all day in there and yeah you guys fussy they're fussy <laughs> they're so cute so they won't hold still for my camera but I'm gonna put a, a camera in their cage and hopefully be able to get some really awesome candid shots of what the Gouldian finches are up to um, maybe I'll even put one in the gecko tank at night with the little light cam turned on and see what we get then but that's gonna be coming up uh, when we move I'm gonna totally redo the vlog channel, clean it up, tidy it up, get it laid out nicer, and update it a lot more often because I plan on doing so many new adventures on foot outside and I want to share that with you guys on the vlog channel. So if you haven't subscribed yet and you would like to see those things, you can just go to the main channel page or the video description below if I remember and you can subscribe to Series Greenhouse and you'll see uh, just me like this, these kinds of vlog videos. I'll answer some questions, I might cook some delicious food and show it off. I know some pretty delicious vegan meals by now, but we're especially going to be adventuring all throughout the Raleigh area of South Carolina, or North Carolina, excuse me. And that was thunder. That's cool. <laughs> But yeah, I'm going to be doing a lot of adventures, and you guys will see these seeds come back as plants. <laughs> so we're going to have a porch, a huge porch, that I'm going to cover in plants and really try to grow things year-round. I might even invest in maybe trying to get some indoor growing systems going so that I can get, uh, you know, fresh, delicious spring peas all year-round from my own plants instead of having to go buy them. So we'll see what happens. But without further ado... We have a little Grow Journey package, and I have opened up the back, but I haven't looked in. You have no idea how hard that was. I was like, oh, I really want to see what's in there. But I didn't look in to see what was there yet, so I'm just going to reach in randomly and pull out one of the seed packets. All right. And just in case you guys don't know what Grow Journey is, monthly seed delivered to your door, randomly selected, so you have no idea what they are unless you have the option. You have an option to peek in the email they send you, but I never do. Um, but yeah, they're randomly delivered heirloom organic seeds, pretty interesting strains that are sent to you each month and they give you like spring planting seeds, late winter, early spring, summer planting seeds, late spring, early summer, you know, fall planting seeds, mid to late summer, so that you're always on track for being able to plant and plan your garden and let's see what the first one is. Ooh, so this one's for fall, winter, or spring growth, and oh, it's a cosmic purple carrot! I know these guys! The original wild carrots weren't orange, they were white or purple. So think about that, so the original wild carrot was white or purple, and my first thought was like, oh, the way they are in Minecraft, oh, that's so funny! But not nearly, and I mean, the way the wild carrots are in Minecraft with Biomes of Plenty, not like the carrots in Minecraft, in case you guys think I can't tell the difference between an orange carrot and a purple or, or white carrot. <laughs> Alright, but not nearly as beautiful as these heirloom cosmic purples. Cut open the bright purple skin to root to reveal their vibrant yellow-orange core, coreless interiors. 
they're nice. They don't have a core. The flavor, sweet, earthy, deliciousness with notes of spice. Everything you could want from a carrot. Now that is pretty heady pitch right there. And additional growing notes, grows well in the cold. Takes about 30 days to grow into baby carrots and 70 days to grow into full length carrots. And I think they get pretty deep, so about 7 inches in height or depth, I'm not sure. But yeah, um, basically plant before frost and fall, winter, and spring growth. So there we go, I'm excited about that one. I always thought purple carrots would be really fun to plant. Purple and blue potatoes look really awesome to me. Alright, this one is... Grow during spring and summer, polish amaranth. Oh, that's going to make my birds happy. Amaranth is one of the grains that the birds actually have in their seed mixes. Native to the Americas, which is always an awesome thing to try to grow some of the Native American, um, and by that I mean like native to the Americas plants, so that's cool. Amaranth is one of the oldest cultivated plants on earth. This variety was bred to produce superior salad greens. Pick them young for best flavor, harvesting the tender growth just above the first two leaves. The burgundy color and tall growth habit, al habit yeah, also make this a gorgeous landscape plant. Lush flower plumes produce seeds that are delicious and nutritious grain crop. Oh, and they grow well in pots. They do well with water. And they have very pretty blooms. Nice. So amaranth and a Polish amaranth, which is kind of like, okay, they're native to the Americas, but they're Polish amaranth. We'll have to see what those look like later. That's going to be cool. You guys will have a little box pop-ups to tell you, but I don't, I don't know what they look like yet. That'll be interesting and really fun for the birds. I would love to grow it out and just cut it and let it dry and then hang it up in there for the birds to eat. That would be fun. All right, grow during fall, winter, or spring. D. Sico Broccoli, classic Italian heirloom that will keep your plate full through the spring or fall. Tender stalks combined with wonderful sweet and mild flavor. Don't give up on the plant once you harvest the main 3 to 4 inch broccoli head. It will continue producing loads of side shoot florets. Florets, there you go. We also enjoy the leaves and coleslaws and salads. Wow, I didn't know you could just like eat the leaves of the broccoli. That's so cool. Great for both spring and fall crops. Broccoli is a cancer-fighting superfood. Oh, and actually the seeds feel kind of interesting in here. We forgot to look at the seeds of the other two as well. Oh, look at them! Little broccoli seeds! Little spear pieces. That's so cool! I forgot to show off what the other seeds would look like. So, I like it! We're starting to get into the fall things, but it's going to be super duper hot. We're going to be living in an area that doesn't get a lot of snow and stays pretty warm uh, most of the time. Let's open up the Cosmic Purple Carrot Seeds next. So I have a feeling that I might be able to keep my little porch garden going year-round with proper maintenance. Look at the little carrots! Oh, those are so cool! It always amazes me how tiny these seeds are. These are bigger carrot seeds than I'm used to, though. So, yeah, because look at them. They're a bit bigger than the carrot seeds I'm used to. So I would love to compare them one day. And the amaranth, the Polish amaranth. What does that look like? Well, let's wiggle it out and check. Oh, they're so tiny! Look at the little itty bitty pieces. Look at how tiny they are. Aww. They're a really interesting, like, blood burgundy color, too. Not for you guys just yet. Alright, so there's two more seeds in here. Yeah, two more seeds. This one is Grow During Fall, Winter, or Spring Red Acre Cabbage. Considered by many to be the best heirloom red cabbage available. Gorgeous, dense red purple heads that grow to be about six to seven inches in diameter. Heads finish out at about three pounds. Wow, three pound cabbage. I didn't know they got so heavy. I mean, I've held them before, but I didn't know they got so big. Delicious, eaten fresh in coleslaw, cooked as a stew, or in the main ingredient to make a vibrant red sauerkraut that will make your microbiome giddy. <laughs> Good variety for spring in cooler areas, and fall in cooler and warmer areas to harvest. Okay, we might try this. Tolerates partial shade, likes growing in pots, can handle the cold a bit, has pretty blooms. That's awesome. And let's look at the seeds of the cabbage really quickly. <laughs> There we go. Alright, what do you look like? Oh, they look kind of like broccoli seeds. Alright, I'm going to have to be very careful. I didn't know cabbage seeds would be so spherical. I'll be careful not to get those guys mixed up. 
cabbage is pretty good for you. I would love trying to make my own sauerkraut, I think. That would be an interesting experience. Or maybe kimchi, to be more honest. I would prefer trying to make my own kimchi. Oh, I didn't even read what this was that was already opening it. Okay. Oh, fun! Grow during spring and summer. Butterbean soybeans. A deliciously sweet, buttery soybean grown for fresh eating or edamame, which I love. Stocky plants will get loaded with pods, most of which will ripen at once. For fresh eating, harvest when beans are plump in pods just as they are about to go from green to tan. Harvest when tan and yellow to use as lima bean substitute. Nitrogen fixing plants are an excellent for soil health. Perform well in northern as well as southern gardens. And they do well in pots, which is important for me because we have a, a pot garden going in our area. But yeah, so I love soybeans. I love edamame. So we might try growing this for our own garden edamame. Woo, they're big. Doink, look at them. Oh, those are so cool. Yeah, we'll try growing some of those guys. Give them a nice pot. Oh, so fun. As usual, I have bonus seeds. So it looks like we have bonus amaranth and bonus cabbage this time around. The red acre cabbage and the Polish amaranth. And I love these. These are the little share packets that they send in addition to everything else so that you can trade or give away seeds to your friends to try to encourage them to get into gardening or heirloom gardening or seed trading, which I think is just absolutely awesome. So I'm really looking forward to tucking these little guys aside and being able to share their growth with you in the future. So thank you guys so much for joining me for this little specimen Saturday. We have seen even more awesome variety of mini crops that we commonly see in the grocery store, but this time done totally differently. And I really hope I can have success, even though I'm still a novice gardener. <laughs> with growing them in the garden so that you can see the beautiful results of what planting a seed and taking care of it can produce. So I will see you guys then, and remember, stay curious. Bye-bye!